Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. Welcome back to the full walkthrough in the Crew 2. So it looks like it's time to get ready for having a 3 race event on the power boat. So it looks like this will I have the filters turned on to be organized. So I hope this will I have 2 every song event and the chain bug will be included. So it looks like this will I have to get ready to go on for a figure 8 circuit at Pacific Coast. So luckily, this is going to be pretty tricky for having a circuit race, but this one might take some skills to be on the water, so this one might have some better expect approach to be taking on with some required performance. So I'm at 170 in the performance level, so this will be quite very good to give a good excellent speed on my offshore Mark 1. So here I go, every song event number 1 will be ready to go to travel to. It looks like Clarence has decided to grace us with his presence today. How nice of him. Although nice isn't always how he plays. Keep an eye out for him, especially at the intersection of the track. We'll do, Alexis. This is going to be a figure eight circuit on the water, so looks like he's in joining in for the race. So let's get it on and get prepared. So luckily, I could probably have to overtake Clarence whenever he's in second place. Okay, going in. Just gonna have to keep a good few distance. That's more like it. I'm in the lead. Better expect to have the waves will coming in. So this will might have to steer around just like Mario Kart DS. Take that jump. Looks like this is going to be pretty excellent. But the rain is actually just keep coming around. So I hope this will might have a better clear weather. But only in the replay to be on edit. Now, going in to lap number two, that means the final lap is on its way. Just gonna have to steer on the left. Better have that wave just splashing in. Okay, keep going. I hope this will might have this segment clip that will might give a little bit more skipping interruptions. But, to be honest, just gonna have to keep an eye on it whenever it goes on. We'll have to do much regularly doing better. But no hard feelings. I'm just gonna have to stick it to the focus onto the race. And here comes the finish line. I'm about to go for it. Good job. 2 minutes and 5.950 seconds. Incredible. This is going to be taking some bonus earnings. Just going to slow down. Just going to have to steer reverse. There you go. Three loot collected. This is going well. Now first every song event is clear. Now moving on to event number two, just gonna have to go back over to Mississippi just like I just took in the first event. So I hope this will might have an every song event will be going up north. But I just did going down south, so this is gonna be a sprint race that will might turn out to be. So let's just gonna get prepared to travel to and let's go fast and going up north. But hey, looks like this is gonna be the only far distance to reach up towards Chicago the Mississippi River back in the day they used to race steamboats down this thing the winner ran a whopping 13 knots not much by modern standards but back then it was the talk of the nation this is going to be 
beautiful out there to race up north of Mississippi River. So let's get ready to go and this will might have a good beautiful sight in the view. So let's go fast and hit the throttle and pack it up with a nitro. Just gonna have to steer towards the checkpoints. First place in the lead. The windmill power plant. What a beautiful sight. How impressive, but clean energy is going to be much brighter out there to have a nice environment power plant. So let's just gonna have to proceed forward. So looks like this will might have a race with a beautiful sight of tour. Just gonna take that jump. Just steer towards onto the next checkpoint. Pack it up with a nitro boost. Man, that was a pretty good splash. But only for the jump that we might have to cross through onto the terrain obstacles. Just steer and glide in. Just gonna have to keep going on the formation at the line. Okay, go pass through. Wow, it looks like this is going to be pretty good to take a good look on the bridge. Just keep going. Looks like that will might take some couple of cargo ships to be coming in. But it looks like this is going to have to go crossing through. Just like Jet Sprint. Okay, there you go. Just gonna have to do some more ramp jumps. Pass through it onto the buoys. And only a couple of miles towards on the outskirts of Chicago, so this will might have to take a good look onto the map. This will might have to be expanded to take a look. So right now, coming in onto the finish line, so this will might take that final stretch. Pretty excellent, 2 minutes and 25.307 seconds. This is going to get a lot of more followers and earnings and some good epic loot to be dropping in along with the comments. Parents, looks like we have a rival event available. That's so this settled. is You're as fine good. a racer as I've ever seen. You're ready for a shot at the championship, and to show Clarence that being a winner is not a birthright. Now that's awesome. So looks like this one might have to go on for default. But speaking of which, I really need an Alpha Grand Prix vehicle will be available. So I hope this is going to be quite very needed as possible. So right now, it's time to get ready to go down for the final race in the power boat. The Key West Chain Bunk event. This is going to be pretty different layout onto the waters, so this will might have to be going in towards Miami, but that will might be quite very excellent to see some more spectators to see some good racing action on the waters. Having some better earnings and recommend performance to be 150 will be eligible to be having a current performance, so everything is all good and let's get ready to take on the third and final event. The Florida Keys are amazing. The beaches, the reefs, the lime pies. I don't know, if I took vacations, I'm sure they'd be at the top of my list. Right after Ford's original Model T factory, that is. Talk about history of automotive vehicles where Ford T production begins. This is going to be quite very excellent to do some more knowledge on automotive history for it. And this time, this is going to be the best powerful event will go on. Now, this one might have to take the first checkpoint. Just gonna go past through. That's the ticket. 
Looks like there's some spectators on the cruise ship. Everybody really wants to see UTRS will go first place. Very excellent. Now, this will might go through onto the bridges. Better watch out for the buoys. Just gonna have to take a lot of more gap. We'll go through. 50% on the halfway mark after taking the jump. Going in onto the next turn. Still racing around in the keys, but this one might go through the bridges. Take that checkpoint clear. Steer left. We're about to be going in folks. That we might have to go underneath the bridge. Pass through and now putting up with the nitro. Slow it down. Very excellent. 10% to go. Better have to take one last jump. And there you go. Yeah, now that was so epic. That was so incredible epic. That was pretty awesome out there. So I bet this is going to be 100% on the power boat. Just going to grab that loot. Very good. Racing on the keys at Miami. That was pretty excellent to take. So, looks like this is going to be good to take a good look on the activity. So, that will might have a good usage on the percentage. So, let's just going to go on and check on the pro racing. Now, that was pretty excellent. 100% complete on power boat. Only a few more percentage on different disciplines. So I bet I could probably have to take more racing events on touring car and air race. But luckily, Alpha Grand Prix will be coming up onto the next checklist. But this one might have skills and photo album will be included. But everything will go on by the 51% and I'm about to be ready to take on clearance at any time. So I hope this one might have freestyle to be at 50%. That means I could probably be ready to take on Sophia as a main rival event. 33% on Art Will will doing some more work and luckily street racing as well. But this is going to be quite doing well to take on for the next walkthrough segment. And this will might have the time to be taking part on the live summit. But this is going to be on the date. But I could probably have to be reminded so maybe this will might have one segment to be taking on for the live summit will be available. Alright folks, I hope you really enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification uploads and the links on the description down below if you want to see more. You can follow me on Instagram, DeviantArt and GT Planet whenever you want. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time to continue the journey in the Crew 2, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay sailing.